Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before and that is a project pan for 2020. I asked you what you wanted to see this year and this was high on the request list. Honestly, it's not something that I have a ton of interest in doing and that's why I've never done it before because I love switching up my products. I also don't wear makeup every day and I like to try out new things to let you know what's up and then when I want to pull out old things, I'll do that. But and, and I'll get stuck on a product, you know, like there's a, the blush here I've been using all the time, the concealer I've been using all the time, but the minute you tell me like you need to use this every time, then I feel like I'm gonna get bored. So this should be interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna do, and let me know how you would like to see this go down because like I said, I'm not a part of like the Project Pan community. I don't really watch the video. So I'm gonna show you everything that I plan to use up this year. I also filmed an IGTV putting it all on my face. So that will be linked down below. But do you want me to check in midway through the year? Year? Should we leave it till the end of the year and I won't update you uh, till December? Like how should and does this normally go down? Because I mean, we have the freedom to do it however we want. So let me know what you'd like to see, but let's go ahead and get started. I have two primers that I want to finish up and both of them are about halfway used. So I feel like this is doable. The first one, I'm not sure if this was discontinued or it's just no longer sold at Sephora, but I really like this. It's the Origins Original Skin Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer with Willow Herb. I don't feel like this got enough love at all. It is in kind of like a weird packaging and it comes out kind of moussey and you know I hate moussey products, but it turns into this like really nice kind of light product because it does have air in it. And I feel like if you have oily but dehydrated skin or combo skin and you're looking for something that's gonna add hydration but not like a greasiness, like I thought that this was really good. So I haven't actually reached for it in a while because I felt like it was harder to get your hands on. So I figured I would use that up. And then this was the first primer I ever loved, the YSL Touche Clot Primer. I've used half of this. I actually have a backup of it. So I figured I might as well work my way through this. This was the first primer Although I looked at it and I was like, this isn't gonna do anything. Like, why does it have gold flecks in it? But this was the first primer I used and I was like, oh, my makeup actually does look better. And for a long time, I felt like primers were just kind of like a waste of time and money, but this was sent to me and I tried it out and ended up really loving it. Uh, and because I've used up half of it, I was like, you know what? I think I can get through the rest. I have a skin mist that I really wanna use up. Again, I never heard a lot of people talking about this either, but I really liked it. I've got about half in here. Uh, this is the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And and this said it could be kind of used all three ways, which is definitely a trend now in any spray product. It's like, it refreshes, it hydrates, it sets, it primes, like it pays your taxes, like every mist does a hundred different things. But I really loved this before matte foundations because even when I was oily, I just felt like this gave like a really good slip underneath my makeup to kind of move the more matte products along without again making me greasy. And I really like this, so I figured, um, um, and now because there's like a million mists out there, this was kind of the one that I stuck with for a long time. So now that there's a bunch out there, I've got more that I like, but I figured I would continue to use this up because I did love it so much and I feel like I should use her again. I have two foundations, which is potentially a stretch, but this one, like there's not much left in here. I can definitely get through this one. It's the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in Annapurna. I fell in love with this last year. I've been using it nonstop. And the fact that I'm almost done this is kind of wild because there's 1.9 fluid ounces in here. So this is basically the double the size of an average foundation. And I don't use that much of this at a time. So really love this and have been continuing to wear it. So I think I should be able to finish this. And then I thought, you know what? Let me try another foundation. So this one actually is 0.75 fluid ounces in here. So a little bit less than the average size of a foundation, but I love this formula. I think it's amazing. I've reviewed both of these if you missed my in-depth reviews, but this is the Revlon Candid Photo Ready Finish. It's a gorgeous medium coverage natural finish and just looks like high end. It is such a good, again, under, you could call this like an underrated products video almost, but yeah, these, these are definitely very, very good. This one I can definitely finish. This one we'll have to see. For concealer, I've used up about half of this as well. And again, similar to the NARS product, this is another one that has a ton of concealer in it. You're getting 0.5 fluid ounces. So this is half the size of a foundation, but it's a concealer that I only use essentially under my eyes. So this one is in the shade Warm Beige. I realized I also have the shade Sand, which I've used 
quite a bit of as well. If I wasn't using two shades, which I didn't even realize I was using two shades, uh, then I think I would be done this already. And I continue to love this and reach for this most days off of camera. So I think I should be able to finish that guy up. I don't know if skincare is allowed in these videos, but I'm going to do it anyways. I have the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy. I've got a second one of these. I absolutely love it. I mix it in with foundations when I want to make something like a tinted moisturizer. I use it on its own in the summer and in the winter just to add a little bit of glow. I've got a second one of these, so I might as well use use this up and then under eye patches and like eye masks and stuff or something that I have a ton of and I save them for like a special occasion and I don't have many times where I'm actually like you know any kind of huge big events and when I do I generally stick to what I'm using all the time so I don't reach for things so I need to just use these on the average day so these are the pixie detoxify depuffing eye patches I think that these are a great deal because you do get 30 pads in here and they're not all individually wrapped like some eye masks tend to be so if I was to go out and purchase an eye mask it would probably be this one I've used it I really like it it feels hydrating and light um, but I definitely don't use it enough I've had it forever on my bathroom counter and I never reach for it so hopefully this will encourage me to reach for it some powders that I hope to make a dent in the first one I've actually already made a dent I haven't hit pan but the label is like almost completely off which is a good sign I guess that is the uh, makeup revolution bacon blot powder in banana you know how much I love to set my under eyes with this I used it all throughout the second half of 2019 using it into 2020 so I don't think this will be a huge stretch. I've already definitely got like a dent in there, like I said. And then I have two powder products with straight up pan. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in the shade three. This is the one that I used to set my face. It is a beautiful like airbrushed finish powder. Uh, I know some of you have tested this out on my recommendation and have been really, really impressed with it. Uh, a bummer about this powder like the formula is great everything about it is great but you barely get any product so it really like doesn't take that much to hit pan on it so I can't take too much um I guess responsibility for that but it is a really gorgeous powder so I should be able to finish that up and then I find baked and kind of gelé products tend to take a little bit longer to get through than a powder because they don't kick up as much powder when you use it. But that being said, I have hit pan on this from Makeup Forever. It is their bronzer, one of the most beautiful natural bronzers that's out there. It's not sold on Sephora anymore though I realized. And again, that's kind of why I stopped reaching for it. When products become like discontinued or harder to get your hands on, I'm a little more hesitant to mention them in a lot of videos because that's not as useful to you unless it already exists in your collection. But I do really love this. It's super gorgeous super natural and I have um, hit some hit some serious pan in there so I think uh, I think the powders that I've hit pan on I should be able to get through but the others I don't know and then the irony I decided you know what I'm gonna include a, a blush I didn't want to include my the bomb instinct blush that I've hit pan on because I don't want to finish that because I love that and it's now discontinued so I'm kind of like putting that in my makeup museum <laughs> but I have no makeup museum it just stays in the drawer and I don't reach for it but uh, this is the NYX blush in summer breeze again this was a a lot of these were my favorites from 2019 but I just dropped this as I was filming my IGTV and ironically you can now see some pan and when I tend to break a product Product, that's kind of when I stop using it because it gets annoying if it starts cracking and it gets really delicate uh, and there's a crack down the center of the pan too so we will see how this goes it's a really beautiful blush and I've dropped this before with no problem but I think you know it's the same when you drop your phone sometimes you drop it and you're like ooh, it's smashed you look at it it's fine other times you drop it and you're like oh no big deal and you wait you, you wake up you pick it up and it's totally smashed so this is a case where I was like oh it's probably fine I've dropped it a bunch and it was not but these blushes from NYX are so good this shade is amazing it's a really great kind of like peachy neutral if that makes sense it makes it really easy to wear with essentially anything and that's why I feel comfortable saying you know I can use this quite a bit because I have been using it a lot but definitely a bummer that I freaking smashed it highlighter was tough I really didn't know what I was gonna go for and then I was picking through my highlighter drawer and I figured I would go for this because I have used I have used like not a lot of it but it's got like a bit of a dent in there and this is actually an eyeshadow from Rimmel this one is in the shade gold record I have a whole video on my favorite drugstore eyeshadows that act as great highlighters because not only does that give you more variety to choose from at the drugstore but a lot of the time a single eyeshadow is going to be more affordable 
than a drugstore highlighter and a lot of these are really really gorgeous i actually compared this one to a becca a becca champagne pop back in the day but it's a really really great option rimmel is super affordable this is probably like five dollars in the united states it's probably even cheaper uh, and i have made a bit of a dent in it so i feel like that gives me a little bit of a higher chance but yeah i haven't actually reached for this in a while so it was fun to break it up because i think it's quite pretty and then lastly i picked two lip products no like traditional lipstick tube because i'm just like you know what it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. I gotta be realistic. So something that I always keep in my bag is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This one is in the shade Peach. I travel with this. I love it. If I can't find it, I'm so annoyed. So definitely, I uh, think I'll be able to use that up. And then I have the e.l.f. High Shine Liquid Lipstick in Bitten Pink. This is what I'm wearing today, and this has been a favorite of mine for a long time. I kind of rediscovered it recently, and I've been wearing it quite a bit, so I figured I would include it here today. And a formula like this, again, and a color like this is something I will easily be able to wear anytime any day, any night, whatever it is. I didn't want to pick like a red or something that I wouldn't be wearing as often. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. I don't have super high hopes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get like a little drawer or something and keep it on my desk or tuck it away in my monthly monthly makeup basket because I get very easily distracted and easily bored when it comes to makeup. So we will see how it goes. Let me know if there's any products on your list that you hope to use up. I actually don't have any eyeshadow palettes in here either, I realize. I plan to include the uh, Too Faced Just Peachy palette. I felt like that was the only one I could really see myself actually hitting pan on, and I cannot find it. I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to see me like include that, let me know, and I can try and track it down. I'm sure it's like in here somewhere. But yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know how you would like to see this all go down and let me know how you think I'm gonna do but if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye